you don't need eyes to see, you know. Just look at the Marvel superhero Daredevil, or Kenshi from the Mortal Kombat series. I know it's hard to believe, but there are animals out there that use their sounds to build a virtual map inside their heads about where they're going. They're so good at it that it makes us having eyes seem like the old norm. So without further ado, let's check out this video. Welcome to Animals Wild TV. Let's get started. Echolocation has been around this earth for thousands, maybe millions of years, long before we humans came into existence. For those of you who don't know how it works, well, think of it as playing Marco Polo. The only difference is that you're not saying polo back and it's a matter of life and death. Animals use it all the time as they're either very reliant on it or are completely blind to begin with. Bats, dolphins, and other creatures utilize echolocation to detect the location of objects via reflected sound. This enables the animals to explore, hunt, recognize friends and foes, and avoid obstacles in complete darkness. We humans have also copied that idea and have since been using it for our own advantage such as the sonar systems on ships, boats, and every other sort of oceanic vessel. Sonar is a device that detects things using sound waves. These things are detected using a sonar, which sends out ultrasonic waves into the water and detects the returned echoes. The sonar can detect and display the distribution, density, and movement of a school of fish in all directions at an angle of 360 degrees or 180. Of course, we use it with the help of machines, but for most animals, it's a natural process and their lives depend on it. First off the bat, we have, well, bats. These are commonly known to use sound as an instrument to see in the dark or when they're blind and can't see anything, hence the term blind as a bat. Bats use echolocation to find their way around by producing high frequency sound pulses via their mouths or noses and listening for the echo. The bat can assess the size, shape, and texture of things in its environment using this echo. A little more equipped than our machines, don't you think? Imagine this. If I had echolocation just like the bats, I could use it to determine who is who out of two people who are standing right in front of me without them making noise. Next in line, we have the happiest creatures on our planet, the dolphins. If you thought seeing the world from your eyes was enough of a blessing, well, these guys can use their eyes and their echolocation as well. In front of the dolphin's blowhole in the area we call our forehead is their melon. The melon consists of fatty tissue and fluid and serves as the lens through which sound is focused during echolocation. Echolocation is seeing with sound, much like a sonar on a submarine. They can only echolocate in the water and not through the air. Sound waves are created in the nasal sacs and focus through the melon at various frequencies allowing the dolphin to see with sound. The shrew is also an animal which I don't think many of you were actually expecting to see on this list, were you? Well, these guys also use echolocation as they're lacking behind when it comes to the eyesight department. Shrew sounds are low amplitude, wide band, multi-harmonic and frequency modulated, unlike bat sounds. They don't have any reverberations or echolocation clicks and they appear to be employed for simple, close-range spatial orienting. Shrews, unlike bats, utilize echolocation only to study their surroundings rather than to locate food. Another member of the dolphin family also uses echolocation to go about its average day, and you probably have never heard about this animal. These are the porpoises that are just as different from dolphins as they are similar. The most notable difference can be the color, which is the same duochrome color style as the killer whales, white and black. Harbor porpoises, like other toothed whales, utilize echolocation to locate food like fish and squid. They listen for echoes after emitting powerful ultrasonic waves in a narrow sound beam. Now it's time to look at the sky as the next contender that we have on our list is a bird, more specifically known as the oil bird. Oil birds are active at night employing great olfaction and very light sensitive eyes to forage for fruits and echolocate as they depart and return to their deep roosts. The birds generated click bursts that lasted fewer than 10 milliseconds and consisted of a varied number of two to eight clicks at two to three millisecond intervals during echolocation. At six decibels from the signal peak frequency, the click bursts have a bandwidth of seven to 23 kilohertz. They use this complex method to hunt and see objects 
at a wider range than bats when compared. Another bird that uses this same method is the swiftlets. They're called as such as they barely make a sound while they're in flight, almost the same as an owl. When it hunts for its prey, to find their roost in gloomy tunnels, these birds utilize echolocation. Aerodramus swiftlets emit clicking noises that are well within the human hearing range, unlike bats, which use echolocation. The clicks are made up of two broadband pulses of around 3 to 10 kilohertz, separated by a brief delay of 1 to 3 milliseconds. How can we talk about echolocation and not mention whales of any sort? These are the humpback whales, which are one of the largest whale species of toothed whales out there. These gentle giants use these echolocations to call out to other whales that might be nearby or a little further than them. How far, you ask? Well, being as big as they are, these whales communicate over 9 kilometers or more and call out to other whales that might be swimming in the distance. The figure is not clear, but it's estimated to be even more than that. They also use this to attract a mate that might be seduced by this love song of the whale world. Belonging to the lemur family over in Madagascar, these are eye eyes. The weird name comes from the sound that these guys make when fleeing from danger, going, hi, hi. The only primates known to utilize echolocation to locate prey are eye eyes. They use that lengthy middle finger to tap on trees and listen for wood boring bug larvae moving beneath the bark. They then fish them out with that same middle finger. And that's one way to use that other than flipping someone off. These little cuties are called dormice, and these guys are the most adorable species of rodents I have ever seen. Not only is this rare rodent blind as a bat, but it may also navigate like one. The ultrasonic sound of the tree climbing Vietnamese pygmy dormouse appear to direct its movement. It would be the first arboreal animal known to use echolocation if this is verified. Few mammals echolocate with the exception of bats, dolphins, whales, rats, and shrews, which employ auditory cries. Vision is typically more efficient. Gotta use that echolocation to find that cheese, you know what I mean? Lowland streak tenrix utilize echolocation to communicate with one another, making sounds by tapping their rear quills together. This allows them to stay in their social groupings while also alerting one another to potential risks. The porcupine could really learn a thing or two from these small critters about how to use their quills more efficiently, like not stabbing everything that they rub up against. This is a sperm whale, the animal with the loudest noise on Earth. It's said that these guys produce clicks which are an astonishing 233 decibels, the loudest of any animal ever. These clicks can rupture the eardrums of any human that's unfortunate enough to be swimming by. The clicks these guys use can spread for thousands of kilometers and can be heard almost on the other side of the ocean. Now that's pretty freaking loud. Shouldn't be too much of an issue when the teenage son of a mama whale has to come running whenever she's calling for him. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Do smash that like button if this video was to your liking. Comment down below which animal surprised you the most. Subscribe to our channel if this is the sort of video that you like to watch. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya.